Hey Martina, it's Nikolai. I know I promised to make a video for you like 12 days ago, but I had some uh, bottlenecks I had to take care of in terms of software development uh, for PicPulse because, you know, uh, the whole goal is so that no one needs me to make tutorials, but right now I actually always enjoy making them and I want to make sure you're happy. So let's pretend that this is, so when you open up Teleplay, the very latest version, make sure you have that updated in case you haven't already. Uh, so when you open up the app for the first time, you're going to click on this button, pick pulse at the very top. Now you can open library. And then this is one of the pictures that you sent me. Okay. So we actually adopted a black cat yesterday. So I'm going to pretend that this cat is our cat, Larry. <laughs> okay. So next thing you want to do um, assuming you're using iOS, is make sure to enter the email you address you used to purchase PicPulse because that'll unlock all of the paid content that's here. And then PicPulse is essentially all these foreground effects right here. So for this scene, um, I'm thinking some kind of sparkle effects. Uh, so let's see what I already, you know, one thing I suggest you do is to use the search feature right there. So search for anything you want. You can search for something like sparkle, sparkle, nighttime, night. Uh, we spent a lot of time adding uh, keywords to each foreground effect. So you can search for it right there. But for this one, I already know the sparkle and particle effects may work well. So I'm just going to go down to that category. So what if we do rain flow reveal three? And notice how like obviously it's, uh, there's black area around this. So once it saves on your device, you can just crop out, crop out what you need. Um, and then eventually pick pulse for uh, iOS will have the ability to do aspect ratios that are preset specifically for like TikTok, Instagram, etc. So another, so I'm just playing around. So I think sparkle particle effects can work well. Um, I know uh, moonlight can work well. And keep in mind everything that you that I that I'm showing you, you can search for it too. So what if we do moonlight? Also, it's it's um there's a snowy scene in there. So what if we we can also add um so moonlight. Okay, that's an, kind of like a extremely subtle effect. That's barely visible. But anyways, let's keep it, and then we can. Uh, see if you hear that, that's Larry or Black Cat. Larry, are you excited about this picture that I'm making of you? Um, so then you can also search for something like snow. Larry. It's you. <sighs> so I know where like the snow effect is, but I, you know, I think for everyday use, the search feature is very useful. So how about something like... Well, it depends on what you're going for, but what about something like Snow Flurry 2? Oh. And then obviously it goes over later, you can crop out what you need. Oh, okay, I think that can work. Let's remove these effects. So yeah, I definitely make heavy use of the search feature right here, and if there are effects which you're not fine, oh yeah, which you're not finding either in the search feature or within the categories, let me know and I'll add them for you. So something, what if we try Gold Fairy Swarm? Like, cause this picture is giving me kind of like very mystical, magical vibes as if it's like, the, so the cat's like going through some magical portal. So yeah, I think the mystical category can work well for you. What if we do this one? 
and this one. Okay, that can kind of work. So yeah, to, to remove an effect, just hold on it for a couple of seconds and then click on X. Oh, there's also some pink magical butterflies. Okay. Oh, I know, um... I know under the Chris... I know you, in the emo, you mentioned Christmas effects. I'd definitely check out the Christmas foreground category. Um, maybe something like this. Oh, what if we try this one? Uh, probably it's too rectangular for this. Now, what if we do like magic poof? Yeah, it's kind of like kind of cartoony, but I think this can work well here because it matches the background elements. What about magic poof three? Oh. So within the sparkle and particle effects, um, oh yeah, wait, let's try edge glitter. Oh, this is a, what I remember I wanted to show you, so this edge glitter one. So you also could have just like searched for glitter right here and you would have eventually found it. So yeah, maybe edge glitter is like the best foreground effect here. So yeah, um, so, and then once you see an effect you like, so um, let's actually try that. So let's search for a glitter. Okay, so searching for glitter and there's a lot of glitter effects. Or, you know, effects that are associated with it. So, yeah, that edge glitter is the one that we're using. So also, so what if we do this one, edge glitter? And then what if we also add, like, this one, colorful glitter too? Like a magical... Oh! <laughs> ah! That's, like, looks kind of perfect. So, okay, let's see how this looks like. Okay, let's record it. Okay. Okay, yeah, it should be long enough. Larry, I see him walking right next to me. Larry the black cat. Okay, so now we're gonna, first of all, oh, you can see Larry. See? No. Larry, that's you! So look, now we're gonna see our recording, which we just made. And there we go. And then, and then obviously what I would do is I would go to here, now, and then I would just obviously crop out, you know, what you need. There we go. Larry, you like it? I think Larry loves it. Okay, Martina, please let me know if this video helps and if there are specific effects which you're looking for in the app and I'll help you find it.